There's a mass protest underway to urge government to discontinue the trial of 53 Ghanaians who participated in the recent anti galamse protests. Citizens from all walk of life and various parts of the country are engaging in the three-day protest tag, Free the Citizens. My colleague, Armstrong Gold Alogbe, is covering the protest and has filed this report. In demand of the release of some democracy help protesters who have been arrested. And they are also demanding that the government ensure Galamse is stopped. Many of them are from the University of Ghana. Others also came willingly on their own. They've been marching from the Okonglo Lorry Station and they are heading towards Independence Square. Let's talk to uh, some of the conveners and find out how is the, are the numbers encouraging. Well, you know, today is the first day, right? And it's still, we take into consideration that today is a working day. Mm. So a lot of our colleagues are still going to join us during the match. But um, we are happy people turned up. Mm. We are happy and we are sure. What I can assure is on Saturday, we might not even be able to contain the numbers. Mm. We will need more because Saturday is a weekend. And therefore, people will be free to join as much as they want. Exactly. Mm. Zero. So let's get to know about your issues again. We know of two where you are demanding that the protesters be freed and also the issue of Ghanam CAB as in of the past. Yes, so I keep saying there are two main issues. The first and foremost is for Ghanam to stop now. This we have reiterated several times that the devastation that Ghanam is causing is beyond us. We cannot begin to fathom. We, we, we can't wait for the worst of the worst to happen to us. And the second issue is for our brothers and sisters who have been arrested and detained by the police to be freed. And that is what we are, we are, we are but, but so far, how will you describe the protest so far? You can see for yourself. I mean, the euphoria is high and people are serious. It's all about Ghana. No groups, no political parties, nothing. We are fighting for our motherland because whatever happens here happens to you and I and our own bunch of people. Mm. So, uh, what's the name? What was the name again? Kamri Kevo. Kamri. 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 Kamri Tevo. So that is Kamri Tevo, one of the communists. Let's talk to uh, some of the other protesters. Let's talk to this young lady. Madam, how are you? So where, where, where are you coming from? I'm coming from You're coming from where? Kaswa. Okay, you're coming from Kaswa. Yes. And you joined the protest? Yes. What's the motivation? Um, we were saying that Ghana came as well because there was a point of being polluted with having my sauce. And when you look at the effects of having my sauce, it's very dangerous. If someone gets kidney disease, that is a very expensive in Ghana. So looking at all that, it doesn't really make sense that how to know they haven't stopped the lamps. And then they've got a point of who arrested the last um, protest. They just it's a great upon your rights because you have great people who have been allowed to have about and these people who are protecting the next resources have been arrested. So you want them to release us? Yes, they should be released immediately because it's not fair at all to sleep in the prison for one week for fighting for the country's resources. Very bad. It's very bad. As a democratic country, it's very, very bad. Very well. Thank you so much. What's your name? Delali. Delali. Let me talk to you. So, madam, how are you? So, why did you join the protest? Tell me, your life on it. Just to stop Galamse. You want Galamse to be stopped? Yes, and also free rap. Okay, so let me first. Why did you join? Okay, you want to talk to Let me talk to a few more of the other protesters. Madam, how are you? Okay, so this is a process demanding for the release of the Democracy Hub protesters that have been arrested and remanded in peace custody. Let me talk to some of the protesters. Madam, why did you join the protest? Okay, you need to talk. Madam, why did you join the protest? Thank you, it's too much. It's too much. I don't know why. It's too much. Why are you doing this so far? Mm. One of our business suffer for a village. We don't city. We don't affect city yet. Mm. The time go affect city. I saw me there in the entire year. Mm. The police go join me. The army go join me. Them now, them are politician people. Them now go join me. Zero. Try be too much. Try be too much. We not be NDC. We not be NPP. We yeah. be ABC. We not be any top political party. Yeah. Time to talk the truth. Yeah, bre, yeah, bre. They all make we see what Kenya do before you go retire. It. No, what Kenya man? will be peaceful people. Mm. Police officer, young young people, are be young, they be young, you can be young. We can pray for your future. Not be them our future. Okay. You go come, you go come focus on me. Not them. Bossu, yeah, bro, yeah, thank you so much. Let me talk to others now. You are tired. How are you? So why do you also join the protest? 
Yeah, I'm just here to chill, man. So <laughs> <laughs> you know, to chill. I just here to chill. Man. <laughs> okay. but how's it going so far? Yeah, Why so are you doing the so protest? Good. Yeah, I joined because uh, I want the illegal mining to stop mm. in the country. That is why I do. Mm. I want our river to be clean, colorless like this. That's why I do. I want our forest reserve to be preserved. That's why I joined. I want our leaders to take action. That's why I joined. So he wants our leaders to take action. And these are a few of the protesters speaking to us in here. The work just started. And we are going all the way to the Independence Square, quite a distance from the Okongo uh, lorry station to the Independence Square. It's not an easy walk. But the message is clear. The one that I'm set to end, and also for the protesters who have Let's join Armstrong now, who's live with the protesters. Uh, Joseph, where are the protest, uh, protesters now? We are approaching the Kaofubi Junction, where uh, more than at least some five kilometers. Uh, work already, and we are heading all the way to the Independence Square. Um, so, as I'm sure now, we are just a few meters away from the Kaukudi uh, intersection where you could see the protesters happily uh, swelling back towards the Kaukudi intersection happening. Mm, I see. Uh, w what is the point for protesters when they get to the Independence Square? Sorry, Kemeni. I'm asking, what is the plan for the protesters when they arrive at the Independence Square? So, Kemeni, the plan is for them to get there, uh, to get, get that conveyed there, and then also, um, please, some message you can also present a petition to uh, any of the government officials that could uh, meet over there. And uh, we'll continue from there, they'll disperse, and continue tomorrow as well as Saturday. It's a three days protest. The main protest is actually going to happen on Saturday where they are expected to have at least mm. not less than 10,000 people Very in the well. streets. Because according to them, today being a working day, it's obvious they're not going to get so many I see. I see. But, but Joseph, uh, tell us what has police interaction with protesters been like today? So the, for the protesters, they are saying that today being working day, uh, it's normal that the numbers uh, will not be so large. But even so, some of them have also expressed uh, light about the numbers they were able to uh, gather on the street now. But for them, one uh, issue is key to them, that their message about Galamse ending uh, is the main focus of this protest, where if you see this young man, for instance, they are threatening mining profits, that's now pricing, and then the, the police respect order from above more than the human rights. So a few of these uh, placards, you could see this one, are uh, so please, a uh, mercury, a uh, crop, and many of So these protests have been very successful and peaceful so far as it comes right now. And all the young ones here, I can see some very young ones as young as 17 years, all taking part in this protest, many of them being university students from the University of Ghana and others also came from the right side of the numbers increasing from time to time. We started with a very uh, small number, but the numbers seem increasing as we protest earlier. Many of them were of the view that the police look at the numbers about 5,000 police officers we are told have been deployed. They thought the police were coming to pick them up. But as the protests keep moving and the police men you could see, they will line up along the roadside so where they get to uh, the line up so that it's not scared of their lane. And they have their private or uh, internal security. I mean, the protesters, they have their own security. Where if you want to stop them or you want to be here or divert from the roads, they will pick you up and uh, hand you over to the police themselves. But as it starts right now, they are hopeful that in subsequent protests, which is tomorrow and Saturday, they will have large numbers. But their message is very clear. Release the protesters that were picked up uh, about a week ago. And also, the government must hit the floor for them to stop. Very well. Say that has destroyed uh, water bodies, particularly in the rural community. Kevin.